a loose goat returned home with a medal after he accidentally joined a half marathon over the weekend, and his owner only found out when she woke up to find social media flooded with photos of her goat in the middle of the race. Joshua the goat lives at a pumpkin patch in Conception Bay South, and the route for the town's very first Trailway Trek Half Marathon went right by his home. Mr. Joshua is a very friendly little guy, and he's used to following people around while accompanying his family on walks. So when he saw people running by, he must have thought it was a cue for him to join. Fueled by adrenaline, Joshua managed to escape his pen and started keeping pace with the runners as if he were a trained athlete. Volunteers tried to contain him, but Joshua was determined to run his race, dodging anyone who tried to stop him. Meanwhile, Heidi Taylor, the owner of Taylor's Pumpkin Patch, had no idea that Joshua had made his own morning plans until she happened to check social media and came face to face with dozens of photos of her goat mid-marathon. She used the post to track his location and showed up with his favorite snacks, which finally enticed him to take a break. Once he was secured on a leash, Heidi took Joshua to the finish line, where he was presented with a medal for finishing first place in the goat division. Joshua ran an estimated total of three miles, but in the eyes of the locals, he was the race's undisputed champion. He's now back home, resting after his big day. And this celebrity porcupine has become famous for snacking. And before you start shaking your head thinking, we make celebrities famous for anything these days, let me assure you that this rodent is truly exceptional at snacking. Case in point. Quinn is a prehensile-tailed porcupine, a species named for their unspined tails that they use for grasping. She lives with her boyfriend Quilby at Mandalay Farms, a wildlife sanctuary in Jupiter, Florida. Both nocturnal herbivores were born into captivity outside of the sanctuary, and they can't be released into the wild, so now they live in luxury, acting as ambassadors for their species and helping people understand and connect with wildlife that they wouldn't normally see. And Quinn, with her exceptional talent for eating, doesn't only specialize in apple nibbling. She's also highly skilled in the area of sweet potato snacking and not one to back down from a challenge, she's even a pro at corn munching. Quinn has become so popular that she even has her own picture book called Quinn the Porcupine with the Soft Velvet Marshmallow Nose. Nobody relaxes quite like a snow monkey in a hot spring on a cold winter day. Nestled in the mountains, the snow monkeys soak in naturally heated pools, escaping the biting chill of the snowy landscape. Interestingly, there's only one group of monkeys in the world that's known to use the hot springs this way. They're in a small Japanese hot spring village called Kanbayashi Onsen, and they started entering the springs after watching the local humans enjoy them. When the hot springs in the area started becoming more and more popular with the monkeys, the locals decided to build them their own monkey-only bath so that they wouldn't have to share theirs with any people. It was a huge hit, and now the hot springs not only help them maintain body temperature and conserve energy in freezing weather, they also double as something of a steamy university in the primate world where young snow monkeys major in social science with a minor in relaxation. The younger monkeys watch and mimic the spa rituals of the older monkeys, learning the art of grooming, developing social skills and conflict resolution, and studying the delicate politics of who gets the best spot in the hot tub. It's really a community hub where the young learn from the old, and friends get together to share the latest forest gossip. 